Hi everybody, I am Ali Fadel, master student at Informatic Institute. Today I will talk about the software engineering case study. The problem. The most difficult part of any design project is understanding the task you are attempting. You have been contacted to develop a computer system for university library. You are asked to build an interactive system which handle both of these except online. Clarifying the requirements. Different users will have different, sometimes conflicting priorities. Users are not likely to have to have clear, easy expressive view of what they want. It's hard to imagine working with a system of which you have only seen a description. Fact about the requirement, books and journals, borrowing, browsing. User case model. If a system is to be seen as having high quality, it must meet the needs of the user, of its user. So we take a user-oriented approach to system analysis. We identify the users of the system and the task they must undertake with the system. We also seek information about which tasks are most important so that we can plan the development accordingly. What do we mean by users and tasks? UML, in fact, uses as a technical term actor and use case. An actor is an is a user of a system in particular room. An actor can also be an external system. For example, our system will have an actor book borrower representing the person who interacts with the system to borrow a book. A use case is a task which an actor needs to perform with, with the help of the system, such as per copy of book. Use case diagram for the library. and iteration. To limit the risk, it is better to aim to get to the ideal system in several steps or iteration. The first iteration results in the delivery of the system with only the most basic and essential functionality. Later, iteration enhances the system. One of the main purpose of use case is to help identifying suitable dividing line between the inter interaction. An interaction can deliver enough of the system to, the, uh, to allow certain use case to be carried out, but not others. Use case diagram for the first iteration. Let us suppose that after discussing the priorities with the customer, we decided that the first iteration of the system should provide per copy of book, return copy of book, per journal, return journal. Identifying classes. In the standard jargon of analysis, we often talk about the key domain of subtraction. Identifying the right classes in the one of the main skill of development. We start a process of identifying the key domain of subtraction using the following approach, which is known as the non-identification technique. In this particular case, we discuss library because it, it, is, out, it is outside the scope of our system. Short term loan because a loan is really on uh, even, uneven, 
which is so far we we know is not useful object in this system. Member of the library, which is redundant, weak, because it is measure, not things. Item, because it is a buckle, we need to clarify it. Time, because it is outside the scope of the system. System, because it is a part of the meat, language of the requirement, description, not a part of domain. Rule, for the same reason. This leaf, book, journal, copy of book, library member, and member of staff. Relationship between the classes. Next, we identify and name important real world relation, relationship or association between our classes. We do this for two reasons. To clarify our understanding of domain by describing our object in terms of how they work together. To sanity, check is coupling in our system. Make sure that we are following good principles in modularizing our design. That will be the initial class model of the library. Let's reverse our class model. Finally, we may note that members of staff share in all the same association that the library member does, and that <coughs> this agree with our intuition that a member of staff is kind of library member. Recording this in a class diagram will clarify our understanding of situation that there is a generalization relationship between the library member and members and member of staff inheritance member of staff is a subclass of library member reverse library class model library system will be like this figure shown below the system in action. In UML, we can use interaction diagram to show how message pass between the object of the system to carry out some task. Interaction shown on a sequence diagram. Changing in the system state diagram. State diagram for the classes book. Thank you.